Hi, this is Mike again from Scratch. Welcome to a quick Blender tip. Uh, I recently located this material library. It was announced on Blender Nation and I checked it out. This guy has released a collection of shaders as an add-in for Blender. And it's really powerful stuff. It's built on top of the Cycles engine, uh, rendering engine, which is sort of the new uh, version of the renderer for Blender. Much more procedural node-based renderer than what we're used to. Now the downside is it doesn't play as well with games. In order to get this stuff back out, you would have to bake things to texture. Now this is all being covered already in a page on Game From Scratch. Um, let me actually bring that back up. And in this guide itself, there is um, all of the links that we need, as well as at the very bottom, there's actually a link to a tutorial on how to uh, render out or bake to texture. So if you are using this for real-time games, don't worry, it got you covered there. Uh, but anyways, this collection has been made available on GitHub. So if you've already got, I'm going to assume you've got a Git client installed in somewhere in your system path. Now, I'm going to now walk through, I'm going to show you the material collection. I'm also going to show you the process of installing it. I assume, once again, that you have GitHub installed and configured and ready to go. Now, there's a challenge here on my system is I've installed uh, Blender itself inside of uh, my program folder, program files directory, which if you've taken the default install, you've probably done as well. Now, in newer version of Windows, Windows 8 and Windows 10 at the very least, program files is now a protected directory, which is a gigantic pain in the ass. This means um, in order to write there using GitHub, you need to have administrative privileges. In order for the script to be able to write, it needs to have administrative privileges, or you have to go in and monkey with the settings to make it work. Um, so in the case that you're like me working on... Um, within the program files directory on Windows, you need to run as an elevation, elevated as administrator to follow along. Uh, so first off, we're going to create a terminal or command prompt. Uh, if you're not in the program files directory or you're not on Windows, then this part doesn't apply to you. They run as administration. Just run it however you wish. I'm going to go ahead and create an administrative command prompt. Yes, yes. And then we just want to change into the directory that we installed uh, Blender to. In my case, it's program files and then Blender Foundation and then Blender, and then I have two versions installed, but I'll go into 2.76, and then what we want is the scripts, and then add-ons. This is the directory in which you want to do this next command, because this command is going to create a subfolder uh, containing the plugin that we're installing. And once again, it's available, I'll link this down below, um, on uh, the Game From Scratch webpage for where this Git repository is. So we just want to come in and so Git, clone, and then you pass in the uh, the URL. If you can read that, it's uh, uh, github.com forward slash meta dash and crocto forward slash materials underscore uh, library dot git. Again, link down below. Uh, so just go ahead and let that run. And this will basically install the library into Blender. So now that that's done, I want to go ahead and run Blender. Now we've got the same problem. Blender is going to need permissions to be able to uh, write a certain folder within that directory. So also run it as administrator. This only again applies if this is installing to your program files directory. So now that that's done, Blender is now loaded up. Let's go ahead and use it. Now I said earlier, this is a cycles based um, shader library. So we just got to come on in here and switch our renderer over to cycles renderer. And now we want to come in file, user preferences, and we're going to just basically install the add-on we just copied in. So search here for M-A-T-E, and you want material uh, material library cycles. Just go ahead and click, yep. And if you want this to load every time, click save user settings, and then just exit out of there. So now it is available. We come in for any material we've got. We can just come into the materials tab for it, and now you'll see at the bottom here, there's this material library VX tab. And this is where basically all of those materials are now installed. You'll see here in the drop down, there's a bunch of different categories. So for example, metal. We bring up metal, then all of the shaders that he's created in the metal category, you can see there's actually quite a few of them, are now available. And there are a lot of them. And let me just zoom that back in, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so let's say we want to go ahead and make this uh, stainless steel with a radial. So just select the material you want and then click this icon over here to make that material current. And you'll see that it replaces the current material up here. Come over here to turn material on or render it on. And you can immediately see the result of that material. Uh, it doesn't look particularly good, so I think I need to work on my shader settings there. But let's go ahead now and render that. 
All right, that is not the most exciting material to look at. We probably want to play with a bit. Let's go ahead and instead go with, say, gold. Apply that. And there you can see a gold being applied. Now, there's no lighting in the scene. It doesn't look particularly great. But let's go look at a couple of the other ones that are installed in this pack. And you'll notice here, there are a number of settings. Once you apply a shader, there's a number of different settings available to it. And if you go in, um, Cycles is a node-based network. So we come in here to your node editor. And you can see here is the logic that goes together to make up that gold texture shader. Uh, let's go back to 3D view over here and we'll just create a couple of these guys. So uh, G and D G. All right, so now we've got four to play with. Let's just apply a different shader to each one. So this guy, we're gonna go in and make it earth shader, uh, sand. This one, we'll go into the say effects and x-ray, apply that. And this guy finally will come in here and go to say wood and polished walnut and apply. All right, so we got our four different shaders here. Let's just go over, select our camera and get everything in the shot. So that's a lot of add a light to the mix. And render. And there you go. You see our four different shader effects in right away. Now again, everyone is its own special node. So we come on back here and we can see, so for example, this was, I believe, X-ray. No, that was, hmm. X-ray. All right, so this one is X-ray. We'll come in, so you can see here with it selected, it's very simple shader in that case. Or we'll go back to the walnut, very, very complicated shader. And all of those settings are also available here. So there's a displacement map that can be edited in the selection above, go into settings, you can see the various different, uh, the values are also configurable that way. Uh, and that's basically it. It's a very comprehensive collection of cycle shaders. And then again, one last caveat though, if you are using the cycles renderer, you do need to um, bake these to get them out into a real time engine. And if you're interested in that, once again, there's a tutorial at the bottom of the link I've got on um, baking materials to texture, which will actually cover that process for you. Uh, if you wish, I can actually do a video on this process as well. Uh, but anyways, that was that. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you to the original author for making this collection of shaders available. That's cool work. Um, if you're more interested, if you got more interest in uh, Blender or Cycles rendering stuff, let me know. I'll cover it in more detail in the future. Uh, just a you know quick selection to show you. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye.